Hello there, monsters and men, ladies and people, and welcome to Recharging. It is time for another range test, and this time with probably one of the most desirable city cars that people can currently buy, the Fiat 500, because standing here is the new Fiat 500e. Yeah, a new one. And yes, this is a city car, but the new Fiat 500e does have a rather large battery pack of 37 kilowatt hours. So I'm very curious how far it will get on one state of charge, because, well, the WLTP range of this car is around 315 kilometers, so that's actually quite decent. As always, I will do two types of tests. One is a 90 kilometers per hour test where I will simulate more mixed driving. And hey, one high speed test of 130 kilometers an hour because, well, it has a rather large battery pack, so you can drive longer distances with this car. Let's have a quick look around because I quite like the look of the Fiat 500e. The new one, it looks a lot less girly than, well, the current one and actually the internal combustion engine one because that one hasn't changed yet. So let's have a quick look around. The car is already charged though, to about 98%. So this is it. Let's go. Okay, so I'm cruising at 93 kilometers an hour to match 90 kilometers an hour GPS speed. I've used 15% state of charge just right now and I have driven 31 kilometers, so that is actually not that bad. Not bad at all. I mean, the consumption right now on average is around 17.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So that means I can get more than 200 kilometers of range. It's even sometimes hovering under it. So the consumption will probably go lower than this as well. So yeah, the first signs are really good actually but let's keep driving and see what the car will do so i'm still going strong i've used one third of the battery capacity um, the consumption is hovering around 17 16 and a half kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers and i've driven now around 75 kilometers so yeah the range based on the numbers i have right now will be about 220 225 kilometers and again that's not that bad, but let's continue and we'll see. Maybe it'll change if we go the other way. So I've turned around quite a while back now and the current state of charge is 40%. So that means I've used 60% and I have driven 127 kilometers. So yeah, that 220 kilometers of range is still in sight. The next stop will be at the charger. So I'm back at the charger, I started to run with 100% state of charge and I reached the charger with 30% state of charge. So that means I've used 70%. On that 70% I have driven 148.4 kilometers. So if I do the calculation in these conditions, this car can do around 212 kilometers on one state of charge. And I do say in these conditions, because keep in mind it is winter now, it is around 4 degrees Celsius outside. So that means in summer, I do expect that this car can do around 260 to 275, maybe even a little bit more. And that is actually pretty close to the 315 kilometers WLTP range that is claimed for this car. So that is pretty good. Good job, Fiat. So how does this car do when you drive 130 kilometers? Let's find out. I've actually reached a turnaround point. I have actually used 50% state of charge and I've driven around 55 kilometers. So quick calculation, 130 kilometers. If you drive 130 kilometers an hour, that's actually not that great. Consumption is actually 26.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So it's quite a lot more than when I drove 90 kilometers an hour. But we will see, it's hammer time, and then I'll see you at the charger. 115, 20, 25, 30. Yep, I love electric power. So I'm back at the charger again. I did the high speed run. I started to run with 84% state of charge, and I ended run with 8% state of charge. So that means I've used 76%. With that 76%, I have driven 102.1 kilometers. So that means if I do the calculation again, when you drive 130 kilometers an hour in winter with this car, you will get a range of around 134 kilometers. In summer, I do expect that you can get a range somewhere between 160 and 175 kilometers. 
So that, that are the results and that is the end of the video. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please give a like and do subscribe. If you did not, please leave a comment below to see what I can improve. And then I would like to say now, thank you a lot for watching and as always, to be continued.